Bruce Gonzalez of Prep Cal Track with Everett Silva, Division Three, Central Section Champion, about 15-29 today at Woodward Park. You have the state meet nine days away. You mentioned it was a little bit hard today, partly because there was no one around you. You're kind of like on your own. Uh, that won't be the case next weekend. What are you looking at? What do you think is going to be the main challenge for you next week at state? Uh, the main challenge would be just to you know, hang on tough to the, other, the, the competition that's going to be there and I just grind it out and not be afraid to you know, do what I feel like it would be best for me, whether that's you know, push or whatever the situation happens to be. You've had a very solid season this year so far. What was your goal coming into the season? What was your number one goal? My number one goal was to uh, have top, top five performances at the big invitationals. Um, you know, just put in some solid times and then win this race specifically and then head into state and uh, set myself up to contend for the state title. You mentioned a little bit about the hill on this course coming up just uh, before the two mile mark. I'm assuming that's the one you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, what would you say is probably going to be the biggest key success for you in nine days as far as the course goes? Mm -hmm. What's the key part for you? Is it the hill or will it be something else you think? Uh, probably just uh, staying relaxed and getting out uh, hard and relaxed the first mile and uh, you know staying controlled during the second mile and you know try to cover every, all the moves that are, are made and be smart about it. What would you say is your best physical physical uh, asset? Uh, probably uh, downhill running. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Yeah, uh, you know if I get a gap going uphill, um, a lot of times I'm able to make up that stagger going downhill. So not I'll, too many kids are able to run downhills well without wasting too much energy. It's a yeah. good tool to have. Okay. The uh, in terms of looking ahead, you know, you mentioned in a sense the goals and you're progressing there. You mentioned top five. Top five at state meet, combined divisions, puts you in the hunt for NXN, which is a brutally tough competition there. Yeah. Uh, I've got to think that's one of your goals, looking down the road a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I've ne uh, it'll be my second time qualifying for a cross-country championship. And uh, it's my senior year, so I definitely want to try and uh, make it to a national meet. And, you know, NXN has been one of my goals, so... Uh, I'm going to pursue, uh, looking to pursue that this uh, coming statement. Everett, uh, being from Fresno High School, obviously this, this course is in your backyard. Is this also your, your school's home course or no? Uh, yeah, we use this uh, course for a lot, our league meet, uh, our city meet, just a couple of smaller meets here. So uh, we run this course pretty often, so it's kind of good, uh, you know, to know what uh, the challenging parts here and where I just know it really well. Sometimes when kids race on a course a lot, they either love it or they hate it. Where does it fall for you? Or is it in between? It's in between. You know, there's, there's some good days and there's bad days. So uh, it's a love and hate relationship with this, this place. Did you have a time bowl today coming in? I was shooting to get as close as I can to um, under 15-10. But uh, it's, it's hard grinding it out by yourself. So Running under 15-10 on this course is very, very tough. And alone, it is almost impossible. Yeah. So, hey, to you, for you to run 15:29 with no one around, it's very, very nice showing. So, rest up, repair well, and we'll see you at the state meet. Oh, well, thank you.